If you're creating a document with multiple chapters or sections, such as a book manuscript or a dissertation, adding chapter headers can be a great way to help your reader follow your work. But doing this manually by going through each chapter and typing out the title yourself can be slow and boring, but worse, it allows for errors to creep into your work. Luckily, there's a quick and simple alternative available. I'm Jack from Proofed. Let's take a quick look at how to add chapter headers in Word for Mac. The first step to applying chapter headers in Microsoft Word is to select each of our chapter titles and give them a consistent style. In order to apply a consistent style to the chapter headings that we want to edit, we go to the Style pane, which is here under Home on the top ribbon. And if you aren't satisfied selecting Heading 1 or Heading 2 or Heading 3 or 4, you can of course select more from the style pane or with a right click, you can modify the style that you have selected. So we'll apply heading one consistently throughout the document to each of our chapter headings. Once we've done that across our document, the next step is to add section breaks at the beginning of each chapter so that every chapter starts on a new page. In order to do this, Place your cursor at the beginning of the second chapter, select insert, select page break. Do this again for each of your chapter sections in your document. You can also access this via layout, breaks, next page. So now that we have each of our chapters on their own page, it's time for us to add headers. First, we just need to double check that each of the headers in our document is linked. In order to do this, double click in the space which will bring up the header and footer menu on the ribbon. Select the header on the second chapter and ensure link to previous is highlighted. Once you've checked that each of the headers is linked to the previous across your document, return to the first header at the beginning of your document. Ensure your cursor is in the correct place here. Select field. From the list of categories, select links and references. From the list of field names, select Style Ref. Ensure you've selected Preserve Formatting during updates. This will come in handy later on. For now, go to Options, Styles, Heading 1, and double click. Now the field codes should read Style Ref and Heading 1 in quotation marks. Select OK. Again, ensure Preserve Formatting during updates is selected, and click OK. Now what you will see is your chapter names as you have them in your document here in your header section. Each header should include the chapter title as you have them in your document. And that's it. Now you have clearly marked headers for each chapter or section in your document, which will help your reader to navigate your work. Hopefully you now feel more confident using the style ref field code to generate chapter headers in Microsoft Word. If you're still unsure or have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Also, I've linked some resources in the description to help you better navigate Microsoft Word and use the styles panel most effectively. Your writing, proof.